Hi guys, I'm Ben. Since COVID came into our lives, I've been uh, picked up a hobby of homebrewing um, and really good found myself getting into it. Uh, I enjoy the science that's behind it. Um, work, trying new things. I started off with a three litre pot doing uh, extract only, then moving into all gr uh, part grain recipes, uh, which still had extract um, with them. And then I finally made the leap into all grain brewing, but I have a small space, so I brew in a bag um, out of the one pot, which you see over my shoulder. Uh, this recipe that I'll talk through in a sec is my second uh, recipe. Um, first one I didn't record because first one I wanted to make sure I'd done it right and had all my focus on that uh, and not worried too much about recording it. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the process that I've gone through. If there's any uh, tips and tricks that you have, feel free to um, shoot a comment in, in the comment section. Um, I'm open to new tips and tricks. It's, if it's going to help improve my beer that I get to drink, it's all the better for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up uh, and help push this out uh, across the algorithm of YouTube. Uh, but Let's get into the recipe. This uh, recipe it came with it's a citrus recipe pack. It's three kilogram marisotta, uh, and then another one point three kilograms, uh, one point three grams of marisotta, three hundred grams of um, uh, three hundred grams of Munich malt, uh, one hundred twenty five grams of currant. Um, the hops in there is thirty grams of citra hop, twenty five grams of Simcoe hop. The Simco was the bittering hop. Um, it's all at the end of the boil. Um, so the hop schedule was um, 70 minute boil, uh, 20 grams of citra at the beginning, and then the rest of it all went in at the end of the boil, so at flame out.
Okay, guys, um, we're going to show you the completed um, bottle. Um, it, this is the Citro recipe. So you can see um, I don't do a uh, water profile just yet. Uh, right now, I've only been home brewing for about a year. Right, I can probably uh, clear that up if you know any better, e easier ways to clear that up um, without having to worry too much about water chemistry, then let me know in the comments. Then you can see a nice little head retention. I'm fairly new to like my palette is pretty bland, not bland, neutral. Um, new to the whole trying to work it out. I've been trying with all the other beers, and then I just go, yeah, I want to drink it. <laughs> we'll give it a go. For me, it's just um quite light. Um, sort of. Yeah, orangey fruity in my nose but subtle subtle orange a bit of mango maybe now i'm not i haven't actually looked at what citrus is supposed to give me in flavor note through my nose it's real really light on the in the feel it's not um <clears throat> it's not really thick um I mean by that is it's quite a light beer very good for like me it was really good especially after drinking about eight in one one night um you go down really easy you don't feel very heavily bloated after them yeah it's very very i'm getting i'm getting just me trying to sort of, and i don't know if it's just me trying to put a flavor to it an orange mango all kind of subtle it's not like in your face um yeah that's, that's pretty much what i'm getting it's kind of weird i got the um but then i'm i'm wondering if maybe i'll keep drinking it more. okay guys that's uh the brewing process that i went through um, like I said before, please leave a comment uh, down below if you can see any areas throughout that that I need to improve. Um, the better the, the process, the better the beer comes out. We all know that. If you've got any questions about the process, again, leave the comment and uh, I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. And yeah, that's my first full edit of a first, first recording of a brew. Let me know what you think. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And again, look forward, if you want to subscribe, I'm going to be trying to get another one out. I've got uh, another recipe uh, coming out uh, soon that I'm going to be recording. Uh, and then I'll be able to get that edited and turned around and chucked up onto the channel soon. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.